Okay. Our main session for the week. So again, really important. We go in well hydrated, well fueled with good nutrition and a quality night's sleep going into our main session of the week. This is our game day at this stage of the program. So treat it the, the same preparation as you would for your game day. Um, and we want to make sure that you uh, get the best quality session of yourself. And this is where we can really um, get a competitive edge and break away from the competition by getting in these big sessions over Christmas. Take no shortcuts, make sure you get the whole session in. And if you need to add in more work for the warm up to prepare you for, for the session, then feel free to do so. But basically we'll kick it off with a five minute feel good aerobic jog, just to flush out the legs from Wednesday's session, both in the power dynamic session we had in the gym, but also on the track. Uh, it was a moderate session in terms of volume and, and speed. So we wanna make sure we've got a bit of a longer warm up. We've got lots of change of direction here with all the football type of drills involved in the session. So get that change of direction work in, choose three different drills and um, make sure you execute them with good intensity. And then we've got five 20 meter strides focusing on good running technique. Really important, the arms are straight up and down. You, you've got that 45 degree angle from your shoulders, hips and, and ankles. And um, we're not really, really tight, but you're relaxed through the, through the trunk so you can um, generate good force through there. Then we're into the session. So from here, we've got 2K of total volume where you're kicking on the run, collecting some ground balls and having a jump up and some marks. So get creative as much as you can. Try and get this done in a group of five or six so you can get some different types of uh, kicks in uh, and, and focus on quality of skill um, execution with this because we're doing it fresh. So making sure the kick's really good and practice your short punch kicks, your longer kicks and uh, make sure you get plenty of ground balls and chumping and marking so we're getting that loading in through the body which is really really important from an injury prevention point of view and also to keep your touch from there we're going to um, some speed work so we've got 60 meter um, every 30 seconds so make sure that we're starting in that acceleration position for every 60 and focus on your arm drive short quick steps that really hard acceleration and then stride it out once you're at speed so that should be after that first 10 meters or so you're now um, up, up relatively upright and getting the, the feet well above the ground because you're generating a good amount of force and stride that out ideally we want to try and get those done pretty quickly so we're getting adequate rest um, before the 30 seconds and you you want to try and not um, do a slow deceleration but actually get to so you're not overcooking and running too far away from the cone so if you can get a shot strong decel a couple meters after the cone turn around reset have a breather and go again so we want good intensity here um, with our accelerations you have four minutes rest in between sets so feel free to get the footies out again do some hands do some kicking um, and um, yeah well recovered have a drink before going into another set of five from there we're doing accelerations with the football so lead hard at the kicker um, then also do some um, length and back and launch at the ball. So make sure that we're marking out the tallest points. So this is really important for our key position players, but uh, for everyone, just to keep the hand nice and sharp uh, and practice acceleration uh, with the footballs involved. Take turns, obviously, from kick out to those doing the leading. So we're getting in, you're getting in your kick volumes, and you're also getting in some ex more accelerations. Then we've got our threshold running. So remember, this is where we want to focus on work rate. So it's a, it's a more our gut running uh, should feel like that. We're going to kick straight off into a one mile effort, 1600, uh, so 1600 meter effort. Um, and we want to make sure that you, you get as close to your targets as you can. So know your group and get as close to, to your targets as you can. And that, that's where you want to uh, have an understanding of pacing. Uh, record your effort as well because we'll sort of treat this one as a bit of a tester which we have throughout the program just to see how you're tracking and how and seeing how well your body's coping with the program as well so record the time it takes to get your 1600 meters then from there we'll tick off the four 200s these are at a faster pace than the two ends we did on uh, Wednesday with our aerobic pace these are thresholds you'll notice the different times that we're trying to hit there and you should feel feel the difference and then we finish with a threshold 1k effort um, great opportunity to try and hit um, what we want to try and at least average 
for your three 1Ks when we return from the testing um, or your 2K time trial pace that you want to try and hit. Try and hit bang on at that speed. So whatever your target is, is what you want to run at so you feel comfortable running at that speed in the new year. Then we'll finish off with just some field kicking. Uh, there's some examples there, but ultimately we just want to practice uh, all your different types of kicks. Get creative as you can. Do it in a group and um, try and replicate the intensity of a football drill by adding frontal pressure, um, getting quickly off the mark, uh, you know, grabbing the ground ball, and then, it, then accelerating your first three steps before um, disposing of the ball, things like that. So train as you would play. Thanks, guys. Great week this week with our training. Um, good work on the program. And if you have any questions or queries, make sure to hit me up. Have a great New Year's Eve.